Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you back here with me. As usual, I want to thank you for your user engagement, comments, like, liking the video, things like that. Um, really happy to have these conversations with you. So something that's always sort of come up for me as I've studied really the science of human uh, nature is is the deeper impulses, that is our emotions, and, and really how we have to negotiate with them. That's why I wanna take an affective neuroscience approach to solving uh, these really big problems. Oh goodness, here I go. I gotta plug in my... One second, one second, one second, one second. I gotta plug this in. You know I'm totally gonna keep shooting. You gotta keep this organic. You know what I'm saying? Keep it organic. Okay, so, so authority, right? Our need for authority, our need for reciprocity, our need for liking, our need for um, our need to value scarce resources, the the emotional heuristics that guide much of our cognition, I believe, are really important. They're adaptive for group living. They're adaptive for 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 human beings thriving. I thought that was plugged in. Um, you know, I believe that it's possible for us as human beings to thrive. But a big part of that is is forming a healthier relationship to our emotions. And more specifically, our social needs. I think that's really the the fundamental hypothesis. <laughs> that's why I want to do psychotherapy, uh, because I see that as a form of immune enhancement, as a form of disease prevention, forming those therapeutic relationships. Uh, so... When we look at our biases, when we look at these biases, we, we have to look at them within the proper context. So the point of this video is I wanted to bring up the bias of the need for authority in our lives. So specifically for me, I was made in such a way that I tend to be kind of defined of authority. I don't, I don't really trust authority very easily. I, I respect authority, but what I do is I tend to want to know if authority is genuine or not. So, you know, in some sense, I think this really uh, reflects the introverted feeling preference, uh, this need for authenticity, and this need for a values-oriented competency hierarchy. So, so here I am, you know, very idealistic, um, very, very interested in fighting for people's emotional needs, their social needs. And, and I find myself returning to the theme of resistance to obedience to authority. And then I go back and I say, oh, wait, hold on. I need to obey certain authorities, but primarily because it's a means to an end so that I may become, hopefully, a moral authority. You know, maybe I can rise the ranks, for instance, you know, a big part of trying to change the system is working within the system, right? So for me, I'm always judging authority. I really am, and I'm saying, is that authority genuine? Is it moral? So, so I wanted to bring that up as a topic for conversation. We have to obey authority. It's a biological imperative. It's a need. Just like we need to feel like, like we have value, that people like us. We need human relationships. We can't reject authority. We'll just find something else to be obedient to. But the question is this. Do we discern? Do we remind ourselves? Do we take an active role in trying to, to understand what it means to be authoritative or not? You know, with all of our emotions, we have to create a sense of, I think, discernment. We have to, we can't cling to or identify with our emotions. Very dangerous. But we have to contextualize them. That's why, I'm, why I really want to have this conversation. I think it's very enjoyable and rewarding. So, so yeah, let's have this conversation. Let's talk about authority, the need for moral authority. Are you somebody who feels similarly? Do you experience this sense of, my goodness, they have authority, but they shouldn't because they're a bad person? Or, Perhaps, wow, that person should be in a position of authority because they seem to actually, you know, do what they say they're going to do or have 
you know, a sense of moral character. So with that all being said, if you find if you find this topic interesting or relatable, let's have a conversation. Comment below because it'd be really wonderful to talk to you, engage you in this in this process. What has it been like for you? What's your relationship to authority like? Um, in addition, like the video and subscribe if you're new. Nice to meet you. And uh, we're going to continue to have interesting conversations like this. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.